Hello and welcome to Japanese craft beer reviews and uh, today we're going to begin a series uh, we're going to look at four new beers from Kyoto Brewing Company in Kyoto, Japan and we'll do them one at a time uh, and Kyoto Brewing was founded in 2015 uh, by three foreign residents of Kyoto City and actually they weren't all resident in Kyoto when they started, only one was, I think, and uh, um, the, these three people are an American, uh, a Canadian, and a Welshman, and uh, they had all lived in Japan for a number of years and in different capacities. Um, I knew, I've known the, uh, the head brewer for a number of years. Uh, he worked at a university in Kyoto and was home brewing. Uh, for several years, and uh, we used to have the pleasure of tasting his home brews, uh, you know, when he produced them, and uh, we would have beer tasting sessions, and he would often bring some of his latest brews. And in any case, that's kind of a full disclosure. I, I, I know these three gentlemen, and, uh, uh, and I've had the home brew that the head brewer made before they when he went professional. He actually, he studied in the U.S., and he did a, an internship at uh, Lost Abbey, in California, a uh, uh, very uh, highly renowned brewery. And he then worked for Shiga Kogen uh, Brewery in Nagano Prefecture, which is uh, one of the top craft beer breweries in Japan. Um, in 2015, the, the, the same year they started, uh, they were voted the best new brewery by the Rate Beer Best uh, Selection. And in 2019, they were rated the best brewery in Japan by the same Great Beer Best uh, Annual Selection. Um, they have a tap room in Kyoto. Uh, due to coronavirus, I think their hours are somewhat limited, uh, but uh, it is open generally on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, so you can sample their beers. They have three main or flagship beers. Uh, that they make and a variety, a wide variety of uh, seasonals and one-offs as well and a variety of different series that they make and uh, this beer, well the beers we're going to look at are all in, in the series. Um, they used to have two seasonal lines, now they have just one, it's called Kimagure series and uh, these are, uh, they have a, one every uh, spring, summer, fall and winter and those are generally pale ales or IPAs, uh, session ales, that sort of thing. Um, they are well known for making uh, Belgian style or Belgian influenced beers, uh, for example, Belgian IPAs and Saisons and that sort of thing. Um, uh, on Rate Beer, uh, when I last checked, they had 195 different beers. Uh, and on Untapped, they had uh, uh, 150. 53, I believe, uh, an average of 3.77, so pretty high ratings overall. Um, so we're going to uh, move on now and uh, get started with the first beer. And again, this is from Kyoto Brewing Company in Kyoto, Japan. Okay, so the first beer we will look at here is this one. It is called Kyoto Brewing Sun IPA. <clears throat> and this is in a series of uh, beers that they call their Six Tastes. IPA series, um, and they made uh, they made for example a, a spicy one, uh, and uh, which was quite spicy. And this one is uh, the sour flavor, the sour taste, uh, and the kanji <coughs> for it means acid. It's right here, and it's actually repeated on the the label here. So it's sun, it says, and it's considered a sour IPA. It's 5% alcohol and 20 international bittering units. Uh, rate beer, there are only two ratings. Uh, when I checked on tap, there were nine. Um, this one uses a uh, lactic acid bacteria uh, to produce a kind of sour tart flavor. Um, the malt bill is Golden Promise, Vienna, and Wheat Malt. The hops, uh, bittering hops, are Polaris. The flavor and aroma hops are HBC 344. HBC is the hop breeding company in the United States. Uh, and they often have numbers before they get names. Uh, so HBC 344 and Mosaic. Uh, the yeast is, oh, I'm sorry, Mosaic and also Mosaic Cryo, which is the, 
excuse me, the fr uh, kind of flash frozen frozen version, which is designed to get more uh, hop oils out of the uh, same amount of hops. Um, and Saburo. Um, and the yeast is American Ale yeast. And uh, the Saburo hop generally tends to give a kind of coconutty sort of note. Uh, but uh, on their website, they mention that using Saburo with a, a very low pH beer tends to bring out tropical fruit flavors. And, I mean, yeah, coconut is kind of tropical fruit, but it is so distinct that uh, uh, you might not necessarily call it a fruit, certainly. Um, so, are we ready to give this a go? I think so. Again, it's called Kilto Brewing uh, Six Tastes IPA. Six Tastes uh, here, and it's called San, which is sour or acid. So I, I'm, I've never been a terribly big fan of sour beers, uh, but this is a sour IPA, so we'll see. It's kind of unusual. With American Ale Yeast. Okay, it is very slightly hazy, uh, kind of medium gold color with a nice fluffy finger of head. And the nose. Whew. Oh my goodness. Wow, it is kind of a kind of a sour, tart, weedy sort of nose. Mm. <clears throat> Almost something burned or phenolic. Am I missing something here? Maybe Chris, am I missing something here? Wow, it really does have a very unusual nose. <sighs> um so I guess this uh, lactic acid has really worked on the uh, the malt and the hops here to produce this rather pungent nose. Uh, sour, kind of dark, uh, very lemony, very citric, tart. Uh, some stone fruit behind it. Tropical fruit with sourness. It is. It lives up to its name, sour, for sure. Um, and I believe this is probably the sourest uh, beer that they have made I mean, as a sour beer. Mm. Interesting, unusual. Wow. And the fruit really comes through in mid palate. You know. Hopping seems quite minimal. Um, I don't get the sense of coconut from this at all, but more like mostly stone fruit, uh, tropical fruit, but really, really soured up. I can get the mosaic behind it too as well. Yeah. It's an interesting beer. Um, you should give them a try. They're going to make uh, six different flavors, uh, six different tastes, uh, uh, and this is the third one, I believe, in the series. So uh, uh, go online and check out Kyoto Brewing's website, and you can order beers from them if you live in Japan. Uh, and if you visit Kyoto, you can certainly go to their tap room and uh, try out a variety of their beers. Okay, that's it for today. We'll look at uh, three other beers from Kyoto Brewing in our next reviews. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave me a comment. Uh, if you've had Kyoto Brewing beers, tell me what you think. Uh, if you've had this one, certainly please tell me what you think. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.